to graph complex numbers, here we go, a point, first let me draw the x and y axes. The x axis is always going to represent for us the real portion. So, oh, I don't know what happened to that pen, it looks like it's dying. Oh, but it comes back to life. So the way the representation is, I'm going to write the real part, when you do it, the real part of the problem is the x value. So this line represents the real part of a complex number. And the imaginary one, the imaginary part, is the y value. So the y axis represent the imaginary. This is the real axis, that's the imaginary axis. So if I want to graph, for example, a vector 3 minus 2j, what does 3 minus 2j looks like? You start from the origin. Notice the real portion is what? 3? Go 3 to the right. And how many down? It says down. I didn't say up. Why? Because it's negative. You go 2 down. So that will be the graph of 3 minus 2j this one. If I want to graph 7, or let's not do 7, 5j. What is 5j? What does that vector looks like, that graph looks like? Notice that's imaginary only. There's no real portion. It's plus, you go up five units. One, two, three, four, five. That's the 5j. This one. What's negative 7 plus 4j? Go 7 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now go how many up or down? Up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's negative 7 plus 4j. What's the big deal about this? Is that, yeah, okay, I got you there. I don't have a graph paper, I wish I did, but let's do this. Let's say I gave you 3 plus 4j. And I want to add to it 2 minus 5j. Now, I'll be out of my mind if I do this graphically, really, because I can get the answer what? Boom. But if you want to add them graphically, you can. This is adding vectors. So when I go to add them graphically, that's what I said. It's just a short, short section in the notes. There's only one page. Let's graph the first vector. Go 3 to the right and 4 up. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, I'm going to go 3 to the right, sorry. 
one, two, three. So maybe I'll use centimeters here. Where's three centimeters? Where'd you go? Where's centimeters on this? There we go. Let's go three centimeters to the right. That's three centimeters right there. And let me go four up. Straight up. Oh, I don't know why I drew the line there. So that's the vector there. That's just a dotted line here. It's right here, actually. So that vector 3 plus 4j is this one. That's 3 plus 4j. And now you want to add to it 2 minus 5j. So let's put another set of x and y axes right at the tip of this one right here. And let's graph 2 minus 5j from there. Which means go 2 to the right. And how many down? This is 2 to the right. And down how many? 5. So this is 2 minus 5j. Your answer now, if you're looking for the sum of them, let me see if I have a red pen to highlight them. This is your answer. This is that vector you're adding. So this is the result of 2 plus 4j, add to it 2 minus 5j. That's this vector. Well, can you tell me what, what the result of that in complex form? What is the real portion? What's the imaginary? Well, to find the real portion, you draw a line straight up there at 90 degree angle. And now you can read that distance. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to put my ruler here. Hopefully I kept the same scale. I don't know if this is the same scale. That's the scale. So I'm going to measure the length of the red dotted line. Can you see it on your screen? Notice the length from that dotted line to the origin is five units. That's the real portion. So the real portion of that is five. The imaginary is negative. I can see it's below the y-axis. And what is the length of this one? Let me measure it. That looks like a one to me. If you added these, three plus two is five. Four minus five is negative one. So these really vectors, this is the real portion, that's the imaginary. Real, imaginary. Real, imaginary. And you can use them to add and subtract vectors or complex numbers. Now, some people graph these a little bit different. Yes? Do you, do you want to plug a 2 minus 5j again? Notice that from the tip of this, I do another x and y axis. Yeah. And I go, go 2 to the right and 5 down. Oh, no, okay. And that's what this one is. So the result is going to be from the origin to the tip of the last one or the end of the last one. That's the result vector. What is the x component? That's the real portion. What's the y component? That's the imaginary portion. Now, some people graph these differently. Instead of throwing another set of axes, then you have to slide your ruler. We did that last time. I'll do it that way, too. I'll do the same problem. Oh, I 
forget I'm adding here, now multiplying. Plus 2 minus 5j. Again, another way, a different way of doing them. I'm not a fan of this because I got to slide my ruler and make a parallelogram, but that's fine. Graph the first one, 3 plus 4j. Three units in this direction. That's 3 and 4 up. That's that vector right there. This is 3 plus 4j. The other one is 2 minus 5j. Go 2 to the right. And 5 down. Let me go 5 down here. Right there. That's 5 down. So my vector now for the other one is this one. Remember, we have to make a parallel gram. You gotta slide this ruler till it parallel with this. So it's gonna go in that direction. Notice this line is parallel with that. Just gotta be careful. And I gotta slide this one, keep moving up till it's parallel with the top one. Parallel, let's go, keep going. Hopefully we're still parallel, and we draw a line parallel. This one is parallel to this, this one is parallel to that. Where they intersect, that's the net result, that's your vector. So this is the result of them, right to this point. That's your vector, that's the addition of them. It's not a bad way as long as you try to stay parallel. Because if you start to go crooked, then you're, you're in trouble there. So this is really the result of 3 plus 4j. Add to it 2 minus 5j. Now you need to measure the x value again. Let's draw a line here, make it a right triangle. And what's the x value? Let's measure the length of it. And I got five, if you can look at your scale, if you're doing it, that's five on the money. In this direction, in that direction, it looks like one unit. So it's five minus one J. That vector is five to the right and one down, and that's the sum of them. If you're subtracting, what's the difference in addition versus subtraction? You switch the direction of that vector, 180 degrees. So I'll do a subtraction one, then I'm done with this section. Let's say we have two minus three J. I want to subtract from it 4 minus 2j. The truth, nobody does them graphically. You know, they all do them mathematically. So the answer to that should be a negative 4 minus 1j. Boom. I'm not going to spend six hours doing it graphically. When you're doing your homework on that website, nobody knows if you did them graphically or not, but it's nice to see it. So let's see. It doesn't take that long.
I'll try to do this quickly. I want to subtract. So 2 minus 3j. Now remember, when you have subtraction, isn't that the addition of the opposite? Remember, a plus b in math, a plus b or a minus b. The rule in math, a minus b is the same as what? a plus the opposite to b. That's what that is. So if I apply that rule here, this is the real portion, this is the imaginary. I can change this problem to 2 minus 3j. Instead of subtraction, I'll make it addition. And what's the opposite of 4? Negative 4. And what's the opposite of negative 2j? So when you have subtraction, apply that rule. Go, uh, subtraction is the addition of the opposite. So 2 minus 3j. 2 to the right and 3 down. There's my ruler here. 2 to the right will put me here. And let's go 3 down. Down here. That's the 2 minus 3j. Now, let me graph negative 4 plus 2j, because I'm changing the subtraction to addition. Negative 4 plus 2j. That means 4 to the left and 2 up. 4 to the left, that's right here, and 2 up. That's right here. This is negative 4 plus 2j. So what I'm going to do now, draw a parallelogram like I did before. Let's draw a line parallel to this. Keep on going. Right there. It looks like it's parallel to it, hopefully. And let's draw one parallel to this. Keep on sliding. Uh -oh. It looks like this. This line is parallel to that. This line is parallel to this. So my result now, my vector R, going to be the answer is going to be this. So let's make a triangle out of it. A right triangle. And let's measure that x value. See how many units. I got two to the left. Can you see it on your screen? I can bend the paper. Can you see the two? Two to the left. So that's what? Negative 2. And how many down? I got 1. Minus 1j. One 2 down. That's a negative 2 here. And that's a negative 1. So that's why it's negative 2 minus 1j. Or minus j. And that's how we do our addition subtractions graphically.